Hey everyone, I'm just going to make a little review video for our lab practical portion of our regents. And station one talks about minerals and rocks, and I have already made you a review mineral video. So now I'm gonna make you a rock video to go over. So on that portion of the test, remember, you have to identify the type of rock that you have. And this worksheet, which you all have, uh, just talks about the three different types. So we have igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic. So we know we have an igneous rock if it has interlocking crystals, a glassy texture, or gas pockets. So let's just talk about the igneous rocks now and look at a few. Our first is interlocking crystals. So when I look at this, I see that there are little tiny crystals all throughout it, right? And it kind of looks like a kitchen counter because it is mostly, this is granite, okay? And this is another sample that you could get. We see our little interlocking crystals in there. They're just little crystals of different minerals found throughout the rock. All right, so that is our interlocking crystals. Our next type that we said is a rock that has a glassy type of texture. So this rock right here will break just like this in weird fractured patterns. It almost breaks like glass. So all of this black is the igneous rock. All of these we call inclusions, so we don't look at them. Okay, we're just looking at the black portion here. And this is our glassy texture. And remember, this forms from fast cooling magma. All right. Our interlocking crystals, just so you remember, form from slow cooling. All right. They take longer for the crystals to form. And our third type of igneous rock has gas pockets. Okay. You could say it has gas pockets or it's vesicular, okay? Those little holes there, those are our gas pockets, the vesicles, okay? So those are our three types of igneous rocks. Then we're gonna move into our sedimentary rocks. Sedimentary rocks, we could say it either has fossils or it has particles or fragments joined together or cemented together, or it could have these horizontal layers that are shades of the same color, okay? So let's look at some. We'll first look at our fossils. So these are two little samples of what you could say, bring it up closer. These are little shells that have been cemented together, okay? If I see little shell fragments cemented together, I know that it's a sedimentary rock. See, it's coming off on my hand too. Okay, it's the same thing with this one. They're just little shells cemented together. That is a sedimentary rock because I see fossils or I see shells cemented together. Okay, our next one is our rock fragments or particles cemented together. These are when we have little tiny other rocks found in a rock cemented together. So all of the red or brown as shade is the cement to the rock and all of the other rocks inside make it a sedimentary rock. We see rocks joined together. And our last type is the one that has our layers of the same color. So this is a sample of sandstone. I also know it's a sedimentary rock because when I feel it, it almost feels grainy and sandy, okay? It really feels like it with this one. This one looks like sand. When I touch it, it feels so grainy and I don't like the beach, so this doesn't feel nice to me. That's all the sand coming off of my fingers. Okay, so this is a sedimentary rock. Okay, and now we have our last one, 
which is metamorphic rocks. Our metamorphic rocks, we're going to see banding. Okay, banding of different colors. So let's look at some samples. I have this one here that has a band of black, a band of white, another band of black, some white and more black. Okay, that is our banding. That's what we're looking for. Do you see how that is different than this? This is our sedimentary rock. This is the one that feels like sand. When I look at the metamorphic rock, I see more like crystals. Okay, remember metamorphic rock is a rock that went through heat and pressure. So we're looking for the more crystal-like structure. This is also an example of banding. All my black is banded together, all the pink is banded together, right? That's another type of banding that you could see. This last one is a bigger piece that's more hard to see the banding. The samples that you guys will get on the regions will be really obvious. Okay, and don't make sure you look at this side. Look for the side that is most obvious. Because here I see one band going through, but if I look here, I see more bands. All right, so those are our three types of rocks with our identifying words of how to describe what we're looking at. So I hope this helped you guys study for the Regents. I hope you guys watch it and I hope you all do awesome on the practical. And I hope you guys have a great day.